not considering it. But you've done it no, I would be a hypothetical in that matter. Do you think I'm an idiot? <laughs> Do you think I'm an idiot? Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, as always. I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Boy, we don't even have quiet off weeks, okay? We're in a bye week here on Tuesday, and shit is just crazy. OK, and I am literally this close to just like having to go cuckoo and get me the straight jacket because the Cowboys. Wow. Jerry Jones is really feeling the heat and I think we need to keep it on. OK, he literally went off on 105 fan today. The guys on there basically actually asking him realistic questions about what's going on real news as opposed to fluff pieces and so jerry is trying to clean it up he's trying to clean it up here and it really opens up a window to the the grand scheme problem with the cowboys so let me read this article the dallas morning news uh just put out or updated just a few minutes ago and boy did i pick the right day <laughs> right day you know i got my elbow drained yesterday if you guys saw the video you can see it's it's definitely looking a little more normal there's still some fluid in there i just took the wrap off of here for a minute uh because i felt like my arm was numb and things and uh you know thank goodness they gave me pain pills <laughs> you know I, I i've been so much pain and i don't think it's my arm i think it's the fact that my cowboys are just cray cray so let me read this to you guys and understand I'm, I'm dyslexic, so I will make mistakes. Although I will say something that was really cool was Henry Winkler is going to be on um, Hulu Networks uh, like a horror show and stuff, and he's promoting it and things. And what's really interesting about Henry Winkler is he was talking about um, reading scripts, and he says he can't read scripts. He does a lot of improv, uh, improv, 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 yeah. He does a lot of shit on the fly, okay, because he's dyslexic. And that should give a lot of us. I am dyslexic. I have a hard time reading. A lot of times you'll see my, my headlines don't make any sense because in my mind I see it as one thing and so on. Some of you may say you're just stupid. You know, you're a freaking idiot. But I look at somebody like Henry Winkler or somebody like Tom Cruise or Einstein, uh, people like that that have the same ailment and say, there's nothing wrong with me. I just got you know, a disability and learn how to overcome it. If I could only learn how to overcome, if we could all only learn how to overcome Jerry Jones, we'd be in a better place, but let's get to it. A few hours after a spat with local radio host dominated the NFL news cycle, Jerry Jones took some time to explain some of his frustrations. Speaking with uh, Diane Rusi during a Tuesday NFL meeting in Atlanta, the Cowboys owner said he didn't appreciate being grilled by people he's paying. Early in the day, Jones became defensive when he was asked about the team's roster and quiet offseason on his weekly spot with Sean and RJ um, on 105 The Fan. I don't know that I would go as far as calling the volume connotations as yelling, OK, but the factors, but the facts are that if I'm going to be grilled by the tribunal, I don't need it to be by the guys I'm paying. Jones told Rossini, I could take it from fans. I can take it from other people. I take a lot of pride in how fair and how much I try to work with the media. We're brothers and sisters, but I was a little frustrated there today. While being questioned over his team lack of offseason moves, Jones phrased an argument around decisions he's made in the past. That continued in his afternoon response. We get in there as a lot of accounting and decisions made in the offseason, okay? Jones said, we, they, they might as well go back to decisions made in 2010. My point is, from my perspective, there's no question. I'm sure that they would have liked to have grilled me like the fans are thinking. What are you going to do about that? I get it. I get all of that. And I really will go along with it. Before once again reiterating his belief that the team's current personnel setup, Jones alluded to the idea that the wrong ones he had done the questioning. 
Although, according to the Cowboys' owner and general managers, things might have gone differently if he was speaking to the crew, to a different crew. Now, if those had been real fans sitting there, or if those had been people that knew they were talking, what, <coughs> damn, I'm choking on this. <laughs> or if it had been people that knew they were knew what they were talking about, football people, I might have a different answer. Jones said. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So, so oh, there's so much. There's so much to to take apart here. Okay. All right. So let me let me see if I got this straight. So if Jerry is paying you, so marketplace grill guy, okay, Will McClay, you know, Mike McCarthy, his coaching staff, all those people are people you write a check to. So. They can't question why, you know, Mike McCarthy can't say, why is that I don't have a, a credible running back? Why is that I don't have a second receiver? Why is it, Jerry, that, you know, we're not replacing the defensive lineman? Why is it, you, are you saying that those people, because they're getting paid by you, can't question your decisions? Next thing. Uh, this, this is where it's kind of crazy to me. This is literally making my brain hurt. Okay. Now, if those have been real fans, so if real fans, so if me, if law nation, if you were sitting there with the opportunity to talk to Jerry Jones and question him, that's okay. And am, am, am I getting this right? Now, if they had been real fans sitting there, or if they've been people that knew what they were talking about, so you're saying that your guys that you pay that are on the radio aren't football guys and don't know what they're talking about. So, so you're throwing them under the bus now. You're basically saying they're just supposed to be company men that I'm paying to go ahead and pump me up. That, that's what you're saying, right? You're saying if it's the fans out there questioning, that's okay. If you're saying if it were experts out there, that's okay. But these jackasses that I have that I'm paying to be on the radio, no, they can't question me because they're just lackeys. They're just lackeys. They're not football people. It, 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 I, I think it, this is me reading between the lines. If I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. Because, you know, I, I feel like, you know, that, that YouTubers, we're next. We're next, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to see um, most wanted posters outside of AT&T, you know, with like, like, like my face on it, okay? My face on it and some of the other. I, I'm, I'm, I'm betting that's next. I'm betting that's next that, you know, we won't be able to pass. Security! Security! Okay. Whew. Wow. So, let me make sure I understand this. Jerry Jones says, trust the process. We know what we're doing. I am the general manager. This is my toy. My son here, who has never worked a job for anybody other than the family business. And I want you to understand something. What they always say is the, the father builds the business. It's the kids that destroy the build business. I, I, you, you know that saying, right? That, you know, when you pass the business down to the kids, chances are the shit's going to implode. Nobody he, pay, he pays is supposed to question him. So does that mean that Mike McCarthy, Jason Garrett, Wade Phillips cannot, can, cannot question any of the moves, any of the draft picks, any of the contracts, that nobody is supposed to say anything. And that, my friends, is a problem because Jerry Jones is living in his own reality and thinking that everything's fine. We have the personnel here to go ahead and fix this. And what we all know is we can get everybody, we would need everybody to get healthy, everybody to get healthy, and for our young players to turn the corners 
and become veterans. That means that Micah Parsons got to come back, that he's got to turn back into a, a, a 12, 15 sack guy, that D law will have to come back healthy with the foot and become the run stopper, that Mozzie Smith will now have to come and be like Dexter Lawrence, that Overshown is going to, have to play like a young Bobby Wagner that Deron Bland is going to need to be like he was last year with all the pick sixes when he comes back, and that Carson's going to be need to be like, um, damn, what's his name? We didn't re-sign, you know, um, from New England and all that. Okay, that that we literally have to have all these pieces go together. That Tyler Guyton is going to need to become a, a, a younger Tyron Smith. Cooper Beebe is going to have to be Travis Frederick that Jake Ferguson's going to have to become Kelsey and that Jalen Tolbert's going to have to become Alvin Harper and Dak Prescott's going to have to become, of course, Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith, excuse me, Zeke Elliott is going to turn into Emmett Smith because that's what you're asking to say we have the personnel here to win and compete that we don't need to go outside of the building because he's already said we're not going to be active in the trade market. And if he honestly believes this, if Jerry Jones honestly looks at this and says, yeah, we're good. We got everything we need here to win a Super Bowl. Then by no means should he be running this organization because he doesn't have a clue. Doesn't have a clue. Wow. He threw RJ and Sean under the bus. Wow. All right, good people. I am completely mystified now. I I don't even know what to say. All I can say is Jerry Jones, he don't know why he's effed it up. Come to my mind, we had a great run of it. Uh, He's a great coach, and I'm uh, proud to have him as a friend and proud to have had the times that we had. We... We uh, we just had a great experience. What? I've never I've never been able to know why. Uh, but uh, that, not just that, but anything else. <laughs> no, I can't answer those. Questions.